hopefully you'll listen to this and uh, or watch this, I should say. Uh, if anything, to get a chuckle. Um, the reason especially I'm doing this is, you know, with the uh, recent global strike day on last Friday, I think it was, uh, what I do, I started a business. Um, three and a half years ago, I was um, riding my bike home and was on the losing end of a hit and run. I uh, don't know who, how, what. Um, just woke up in the hospital four days later. Was in a coma, you know, single dad at the time, waking up like, okay, what am I doing here? And then, holy crap, where's my boy? Where's my son? And um, everything was worked out, everything was fine. But it was really bad from what they tell me. The, on the, uh, what is it called, the Glasgow Coma Scale or something. I have these listed somewhere, but um, I guess I was a two to three on the Glasgow Coma Scale, which apparently below an eight is pretty bad. So, but I'm, uh, I'm as about as <laughs> hard-headed as anybody you'll meet. Um, I was in a coma for four days. I was out of the hospital on the ninth day because um, my boy was being taken care of, but that's my boy. Um, and I blew the people away at the hospital. They were like, what? You know, but I'm kind of an alien when it comes to that kind of stuff, injuries and things. But so... I won't bore you too much, but I have this cool video I'm going to show you in a second on how, after hitting my head, almost dying, it took me a while, and then just um, this last winter I came up, well, last summer I came up with an idea, a good way to make money without having to work for somebody, because uh, with the head injury came a lot of, like, anxiety and um, OCD, like, not too bad, but almost in a good way, like everything has to be really organized in it with me or I'm like freaking out. But uh, um, I'm gonna stop this and I'll start and I'll show you a cool little video here in a sec. Okay, so uh, this is what I started a business doing. I've always been really into cycling of all kinds. I, a lot of times don't even own a car Usually I'll rent cars to go on trips and stuff, and just I ride bikes everywhere. So I was like, I live in Bend, Oregon. I love riding my bike. I'm my good at it. <laughs> uh, with all the things that are happening with electric stuff, I started looking into battery-powered landscaping equipment because I've landscaped in the past, and I like it. It's actually fun for me with my OCD now that I hit my head just to get pointed at a yard and say hey make that look nice it's really uh, rewarding and I get paid really well actually so I live in Bend I live uh, on the west side <clears throat> and so when I was like I started the business last summer and I had a little Kia Soul with a trailer at first using the battery powered equipment and um, after a while, I was like, you know, I really don't need a car and a trailer. Like, the only time I need that much of a trailer is when I do really big cleanups and got tons of debris, which isn't that often. So I was like, screw it. I'm going to go, you know, pretty much 100% carbon-free. Like, getting there, working, whatever I do, and getting back home, like, I'm going to push it. And it's taken off really well. Like, you can always have more work, but I got enough to survive, barely. But in the future, it's it's just, it's pretty cool, I think. But maybe I'm overthinking things. Maybe, you know, my son doesn't think it as cool as I think. But, so, uh, yeah, let me start the video here. I made, I took a, like, tried to take some video of me running stuff and stuff the other day. Um, since, like I said, it was Global Strike Day, I was like, you know, I'm pretty good at global striking. That was a really big, oversized load. 
I shouldn't have had that much on there, but so yeah, um, well, um, so I wanted to throw this in there just because, you know, a lot of people think landscapers are, you know, just these airbrushed um, Barbie dolls out there mowing lawns and stuff, you know, we go through everything like everybody else, you know, we got a little tummy sticking out, you know, I'm gonna, have, you know, I should probably airbrush this though, because my chest looks so tiny and the farmer's tan and stuff, but you know, we, we start like everybody else, it ain't nothing, and um, so this is the mower, I'm gonna kind of just show a quick thing on the mower here, it's self-propelled, um, like I said, it, in my opinion, I like it better than a Honda gas-powered mower equivalent. And um, so these are um, a couple jobs I did the other day. Um, customers I'd, I've had since day one. I think I'm starting to act like a millennial because I expected people to think it was a lot cooler, a lot faster, but it's catching on. That's why I was kind of sending you this video to kind of, because people I don't think grasp it when they see me ride by, they see a crazy guy on a bike with a mower or something, they, you know, and people don't kind of grasp how well gas, or I mean, uh, battery power equipment runs now they think it's going to be like a corded or you know barely cut or which a lot of it is but snapper brand um they're amazing and um yeah so just kind of showing you how it does and this is what i do on almost a daily basis like i said i i'm hoping to kind of just get the word out there and and all that. Um, so yeah, so that's some edging there, you know. Like I said, I was just trying to hold the camera and show you guys how everything works and. Just trying to, you know, Ellen, the reason I'm sending you this is, see how nice and straight that it is because, you know, you seem like one of the people that get it. Like, it just takes a little. We can't change everything all at once, but just little bits. And, hey, I'm like, how can I make money where I don't have to work for somebody? I make more money doing this, and I get to go OCD out and <laughs> mow a lawn and, I'm not killing the planet at the same time, so, you know, and there's the blower, you gotta have a blower, the blower is the best thing, I, oh yeah, and um, you know, that, that was just a funny situation, I caught the blower at just the right angle, and it was blowing my hair all funny, but, um, yeah, so, you know, I have some debris, debris that day, but I, I'll just pack it up and bags and you'd be surprised even on top of everything I carry what all I can fit on there I fit that plus two or three big bags before and then I'm gonna show you some writing video too so you believe me um, and I'm very particular about how I pack up <laughs> another OCD thing you can see how organized and everything's on there very solid like it doesn't move whatsoever as far as rocking or falling. So this is me riding back home. Just give you some, you know, like I said, I've gone up some pretty <laughs> big hills on on this and um, yeah, so you kind of get the idea. Just cruising around, doing some landscaping from my bike. So uh, yeah. So, you know, like, we got to just 
make landscaping great again. Start using less fuel. You know, this is going to take off in the next years. Uh, this is funny. I was getting home and putting the the um, <coughs> rakes away and the wind caught my hair all funny. But, um, yeah, you know, like, oops, like, less fuel. Like, we don't need these huge trucks and, like, gobbling lawnmowers to do small yards or medium-sized yards and, you know, we got, you know, um, Ill illegal immigrants coming in and mowing lawns and then, you know, bringing drugs, you know, illegal, like, fertilizer and, and, um, so we just, you know, that's my thing, you know, make, make landscaping, uh, great again, you know, it's, the MLGA community, you know, we need to come together and start keeping that money at home. So anyways, thanks for watching my video, Ellen. I'll add some commentary after this, but I'll stop the video for now.